All right, hey everybody, John M. Bowden with Clay Shooting USA Magazine. We got the pleasure today of having in the uh, studio, or the conference room, uh, Tom Mack. So Tom, appreciate you coming in. No problem. Uh, today to talk to us, just wanted to kind of sit down with you and uh, I think I'm gonna make this a series, talk to some of the better shooters that are out there and uh, just kind of try to pick your guys' brains a little bit about uh, your technique, what you do, how you do it, what makes you successful. So I know you're uh, you're from Michigan, right? Originally from Michigan. Great. Yeah. Okay, and moved down here to Texas. Yep. So like like me, you're a transplant. We just got here as soon as we could, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, being born and raised in Texas in Michigan, I, I never realized that there was something called warmth in the winter. So it's a new concept. Exactly. <laughs> Although we're not exactly warm today, but uh, that's another story. Um, so you're you're uh, the teaching pro down at 74 Ranch, correct? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm the pro there. It's just where I called home. Okay. You know, we have other instructors that come down over okay. the course of the year, and we welcome anybody to come into the ranch. Okay. It's open to the public, but that's home base for me. Gotcha. Just just south of San Antonio, 74 Ranch, fantastic place. If you ever get an opportunity to come out here, highly recommend it. Um, towers out, more than one tower, two Yeah, we've towers. got 16 stations, and uh, there's, there's four traps at most stations. Some stations have six, some stations have eight machines on them. They're all on remote, so you can stand anywhere you'd like. And we've got a 20, a 40, an 80, and two 100-foot towers. And uh, we've got six traps at the top of the 100-foot towers. So you can, awesome. you can challenge uh, anybody at any level of your shooting, you can be challenged at the ranch. And uh, also because everything is on remote, uh, they're all brand new Promatic machines and they're on remote. So, you know, if, if you, you feel too challenged where you're standing, you can walk out to where you're not challenged and right. shoot away. Right, awesome. I know a lot of people uh, prior to nationals go out there and do a little double secret probation training yeah. <laughs> down there. We a lot of guys We get a lot of there. top shooters come down. Right. Um, which is really kind of fun because you know when when all when a lot of the top shooters, which we all happen to be pretty much friends, when they all show up, it's amazing how fun it is. Right. Because there's no competition. And we don't talk about competing. We don't talk about guns or chokes. We just we just shoot when you want to. And we come in and talk about deer hunting or right, right. water skiing or whatever right. comes up. And it really is a good time to awesome, be there. Seventy four Ranch dot com if you want. To look at <laughs> nice plug, Tom. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I guess right off the bat, too, want to want to talk a little bit about your sponsors and and let you. Uh, Kind of, kind of go through those folks, and and I know they, they help you out, and you you are certainly one of the good guys in the industry. I mean, I've shot with Tom, had a good time. There's one thing you learn quickly about Tom: you will have a good time with Tom Mack. <laughs> we shoot to have fun. <laughs> you will have a good time with Tom Mack. Um, CZ. So I know you're you're working with CZ. You've been doing that for the past couple of years, right? Yes. Yeah. I've been with them for a little over a year now. Been a fantastic company to work with. Um, they make great rifles, great pistols. Uh, they also own Dan Wesson, right. and uh, and they're really trying to expand their horizon in the shotgun business. Gotcha. And I'm what? trying to help them with that. Good, and you, I know you do some consulting work with them as well. On yeah, some yeah, of yeah. You'll see um, in the 2014 catalog, you'll see a rifle that I specifically designed for this year. Great. It's called the Sonoran, and uh, it's kind of a long-range Western series oh. rifle. Great. And right. so I would, I'm working with them on some of those projects and also working with them on designing some features for uh, a new sporting clay shotgun. Great. And you're currently, which model are you currently shooting? Of I'm just is? using the, the sporting clay model over gotcha. and under. Okay. Great. Great. Um, also, Randolph Engineering for your eyewear, uh, EAR for your hearing protection. Um, Kix Chokes, I know you've got your own line of chokes, right? Yep, and they're manufactured by Kix Industries. Right. Um, you know, only about 15-20% of the market likes to shoot a ported choke. Uh, a lot of people don't like to shoot a ported choke. And so I designed a series of chokes that uh, it's a real simple, easy to identify uh, choke system. And you can forget all about IC, light mod, mod, improved mod, extra full, light full, skeet, diffuser. We've got it narrowed down, simple. Close, medium, <laughs> and far. And it should not be that difficult <laughs> to figure out. The other thing you need to get to know about Tom, it's he, keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. <laughs> That's awesome. And I know you've got some unique features on those chokes, too, the way they're designed and, and a lot of nice really thoughtful kind of design cues on those yeah shows. well you know you, you shoot 25 30 thousand rounds a year for 20 years and you start finding ways to keep things simple right right 
Uh, let's see, Promatic Traps. Yep. If you ask me, they're the best trap in the industry. They the most options, the most dependable. They hold the value the most. Um, they're good people to work with. Um, all the way around, I think you you're, you're not going to find anything better to right. use than Promatic traps. Gotcha. And, and the EAR, my years, um, fantastic years. Now, strangely enough, just so you know, I, I wear them when I'm teaching. Right. Because I need to communicate, yep. and um, I don't wear them when I'm competing. I usually put earplugs in. Gotcha. You know, just plain old foam earplugs because I don't like to hear anything. I don't want to hear what you got to say <laughs> when I'm competing. If I do, I'll pull one out. And it better be important. But uh, but I use the pro, pro uh, tip from Tom. Yeah, exactly. And the in the, uh, the Randolph Engineering, their new glasses, their new one piece shield glasses. The they're the most comfortable, best in the industry, and they're not priced as bad as some of the other gotcha. competitors. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, I know you do some stuff with Gamil Shooting. Um, yep, you're Alamo done. Sporting. Alamo Sporting, yep. right. Alamo Sporting, I work with them. Gamil, um, they provide ammo not only to myself, they also provide it for the ranch. We do a lot okay. of business with them. Good deal, good deal. Yep, uh, Ken Eister. Yep. Um, he will work on my barrels. Sometimes we'll make them a little bit more uh, efficient. Um, he changes point of impact. He's a he's a guru from the old school, but he can make it right. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Greenwood stocks. Yep. Uh, Jim, Greenwood Jim Greenwood works on my stocks. Right. Um, a lot of times I'm altering just in, in a factory stock, or right. I'm adding lead in the front or lead in the back to change it up the balance gotcha. point. And Jim takes care of all of that gotcha. for me. Gotcha. Gotcha. And you just you just uh, I know I almost didn't recognize when you walked in. You dropped about 50 pounds, so there's probably going to be some. Well, it doesn't look right? like it on the camera, <laughs> but I, yes, I can't imagine what I used to look like 50 pounds ago. But I uh, wish I. Was sponsored by Waterbird. Yeah, <laughs> we can make that happen. <laughs> oh man, and Proport. So Proport for your porting on your gun. Yeah, they're up in Michigan, and uh, I think they're the original people at porting, and I still believe they're the best. It's okay. it's um, it stays the cleanest. It's uh, not necessarily the not the loudest, but definitely the right. The best for recoil absorbing, keeping gotcha. your barrels in place. Gotcha. And you're shooting Remington ammo. What? Uh, yep. Shooting what's your, Remington what's ammo. Your favorite load? Um, I like to shoot. Uh, I like to shoot one ounce. Now, I you know I, I really like to shoot one ounce of eights. I don't have any problem shooting eights even gotcha. at distance. But uh, one ounce eights, twelve ninety. That's kind of my favorite load. One ounce seven and a halves if I can't get the eights. Gotcha. But, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And easy go golf carts. Yep, and that, it, it's a ahead. bad boy buggy is yep. who I originally sponsored with, and they were swallowed up by right. by Easy Go, right. and and uh, I haul that cart with me everywhere I go. It's got the 13 horse Kawasaki motor in it, and nice. you know, trailer is really easy. It's just super dependable, and it sure makes the long tournaments uh, a lot easier when you got a place to have drinks and all of your equipment and. Cool. Get you around the club. Cool. I know you picked up some new people here recently. Um, Russell Moccasins, right? Yeah, so Russell, Russell Moccasin Companies is up in Wisconsin, and they they make handmade boots and in the U.S. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. Fantastic and product. I got yeah. hooked up with them at the at Safari Club and Shot Show, and I've got wide feet, and I said, well, I'll give them a try, and I had them make me a couple of pair of hunting boots, and I love them. They are so comfortable, awesome. and um, I've done enough business with them, and they found out who I was and, and what I do, and they said, hey, let's let's work together here. So I, I was more than happy to work with them. Good deal. Good and now I'm also, uh, because of my build, I use a lot of cant, and I, I move the toe out quite a bit in the stock, and right. it's always tough to get a stock to do that. So I got hooked up recently with Speed Bump. Stock. Ken, Ken Rucker here yep, in, Ken. in San Antonio, right? And uh, now I don't have to worry about the length. I don't have to worry about the the cast or the toe, how I want the toe, and it absorbs recoil at the same time. Great. So, so you're shooting the bump buster system then, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, awesome. Man. Started with awesome. It. Awesome. So uh, that kind of goes through all your all your equipment. Um, people are usually interested in hearing what what you guys shoot, why you shoot it, why you use it. 
Um, not just because, usually it's because you guys find it, like it, and then approach the people about some kind of sponsorship. That's usually the way it happens. Most people are not just running around throwing money and product at people. So, exactly. you know, we, we all respect that. Um, how, what's, what's kind of your method for shooting, Tom? I mean, everybody's got a little bit different take on things. What's 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 the Mac Daddy uh, method? What's the Tom well, Mac method? I, I really kind of keep it simple. Um, you know, I, if I, I view a target and I decide, first I want to decide where I want to kill it. And uh, once I've decided that, I set my feet up, and, and so I'm comfortable in the kill position. Right. You know, I see that ha mistake happen so often with, with uh, unexperienced or less experienced shooters, where they typically set their feet up to see the bird mm. and shoot at the target when they're out of position. Or I want to be pres position my body where I'm comfortable or I'm making the shot. Gotcha. And Makes then, perfect sense. <laughs> yes. And then I'll coil up from where the bird's coming. Gotcha. And uh, you know there's always a, I pick a focal point where I see the target first and, uh, and I have my kill point. I like to start the gun. Everybody says start the gun below the line. I don't I don't care for that. I don't think it's for me it doesn't work very well. I like to start the gun on the line. On the line, right. Halfway between where I see it first and where I want to kill it. Okay. And um, call for the target, and um, I point to the lead first. I don't like to point to the target first. I like hmm. to point to the lead first. And when I pull the trigger, then I want to hold the lead with my head on the gun to verify that the shot went where it was supposed to. And I, I think that's probably the thing that I do in, in teach. It's probably the most unusual from other instructors. You know, it's so, so often I watch other people shoot, and as they're pulling the trigger, they're coming off of the gun. Hmm. And uh, I remember we're so you going... get a false sense of where the miss was, then, right? if you exactly. miss where it was, or maybe a false impression of where the shot actually went. Yes. You know, because your head was somewhere else and the gun was over here. Yes, gotcha. exactly the case. Because you know, there's really two pictures, if you ask me, when you pull the trigger at a, at a target. The picture just before you pull the trigger in the picture just after you pull right. the trigger. Well, the first picture doesn't necessarily always tell you the truth. Right, right. But the second picture does right. if you do it properly. Gotcha. Yep, and that's just a way you can verify, you know, if and you pull the trigger and keep your head on the gun and keep the gun moving right. with the correct amount of lead on it, you'll know exactly where that shot went gotcha. after you pull the trigger if you stay with and, it. And you're a gun up kind of guy, right? You're a gun up mostly, well, I, is that? Yeah, I, I mostly shoot you? sporting gun up. Right. Uh, the gun up, but with my head off. Gotcha. You know? All right, so we talked a little bit about the, the Tom Mack method of shooting. Um, Tom, you're available for lessons. Um, obviously, 74 Ranch is your preferred location. Yeah, best way to get a hold of me is a uh, cell phone number or go to my website. Uh, yeah, it's probably better than giving out your cell phone number. <laughs> yeah, cell phone number is public information. TMShooting.com, right? That's correct. Okay. TMShooting.com. All right, and that lays out uh, everything you're doing and uh, how to get in touch with you, emails and that kind of thing yep. um, as well. Uh, excellent, man. Um, what uh, what's Tom got going on for 2014? Got a new shoot year coming up, and what uh, what do you got happening? Well, it's really going to get busy again. It's really I really enjoyed the time off. First of all, it's you know I've been at it for a long time, and since the end of October till now, I've right. I've hunted all over North America, which is a passion of mine. I love nice. love to hunt, and mostly big game, a little bit of bird hunting. But yeah, it's just starting to get up up and running again. I think this weekend is the um, uh, Safari Club in Dallas, and I'll be there and talking to customers and clients. And, right. And um, then next week I'll be at the Shot Show in Vegas for a week. Right. And yeah, see you there. Customers and clients <laughs> as well, and uh, then I'll go to Florida for a, a week and a half or so, lessons and competition at the uh, the Grand Prix Fitash shoot. And then um, after that, uh, back to Vegas for the Safari Club International. And uh, then back down to Florida again for three weeks for competition and more lessons there. And right. then I think after that, the uh, Professional Sporting Clay Association tournament start. Right. So I'll be ready for those. Right. You're, you're obviously a member of that as well. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, so that's going to be to that. That's going to be good this year. Yeah. You guys will finally get to make some money. So hope, at least shooting hope, prize hopefully. money. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Some of y'all. DQ. Yeah. DQ'd. <laughs> Dan Carlisle called me up and asked me if, 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 was telling me all about the Professional Sporting Clay Association. Right. And I finally interrupted him. I said, Dan, why did you call me? Did you want me to hold the camera? <laughs> 
and uh, <laughs> well, no, he wanted me to shoot, so I was grateful Excellent. for the invitation. Excellent. Yeah, well, you're you're in good company, man. So I mean, it's a it's a select group of folks, so uh, we're all looking forward to that, and uh, you know, hope to hope to see you down the road on that. Um, let's uh, let's leave the folks with a how about a shooting tip or a mental tip? You got a you got a tip you can lay on us about shooting? Um, you know, I. I the biggest tip I think I could give is so many shooters use the recoil of the gun like it's a period at the end of the swing. Right. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I believe the recoil should be a comma in the center of the swing. Makes sense. And, and uh, so many people pull the trigger and jump away from the target. And, I, and you got to give it a little bit of a time. You should be pulling the trigger and staying in the gun, head down, gun moving through the recoil. Because what happens is you, you start coming out of the gun during the recoil and then you start throwing in a little tournament jitters and a little, right. little bit of nervousness and people start coming out of the gun before they pull the trigger. Right. And that's absolutely detrimental to right. the shooter. And then also you don't know where you missed. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I really believe that there's two pictures when you're shooting at a target. One just before you pull the trigger and one after you pull the trigger. Right. Well, the one before you pull the trigger doesn't always tell you the truth. Right. It might be your lying eyes. <laughs> exactly. But the one after you pull the trigger will always tell you the truth of where that shot went. Right. So you can duplicate it if you hit it or you can change position. Right. And make a correction large enough to hit it the gotcha. same time. Yeah. It's a, like I say, I get the luxury of shooting around a lot of these guys and uh, you know that what separates Tom from me or, or any of these great shooters I shoot a lot with Ben Brunton obviously and uh, they always know where they missed what they did and how to fix it so you know you may lose one I may lose two or three targets because it's gonna take the third target for me to figure out what I really did and a guy like you knows pretty much hey this is what I did this is how I'm gonna fix it and the next series of targets they're dead you know hopefully right yeah. right, hopefully. right right I would like to say that's true all the time <laughs> But uh, sometimes Point well taken. we get stumps too. <laughs> that can happen. That can happen. Uh, good. I think I think you were laying an analogy on me earlier too about uh, that was that I thought was great about uh, uh, adjustments and and making adjustments big enough to make sense. And I yeah, you know, so many people are used to shooting rifles, and I know I shoot a rifle a lot. So and, and they want to make an adjustment, and they say, well, you want to give it a little more, and they give it just a couple of clicks on the scope. Right. But with a shotgun, if you shoot and move, if you think about it if you've got a 28 30 inch pattern at the target and, and you've missed there's no reason to put shot on top of the shot right and if you if you move in after if you've missed a target I'd like to say you know move at least two or three feet right so we don't end up putting one pattern on top right. of another we pattern. missed we we're have... likely to miss again exactly yeah. it's kind of like the I like to use a cookie cutter right. scenario I don't I don't know why <laughs> But if you cut yeah, cookie, out, if you cut cookie out of the dough, you got to move over a full cookie right. before you cut the next one. Right. And same with the shotgun pattern. So let's if you shoot and miss, let's move a full pattern, a full pattern right. over. It makes perfect sense. If it, you know, if you're not moving a full pattern, then you're dupl you're duplicating the mistake. Again. I'm, I'm gonna use that on you one day. I'm gonna say that's two cookies. Yeah. <laughs> That was a two cookie miss. Exactly. <laughs> awesome, man. Hey, anybody that knows Tom um, or, or reads his reads his uh, ads in our in our magazine uh, knows that Tom's Tom's mom is pretty funny, and Tom's mom likes to, to give him a hard time. So, Tom, you got a anything we can actually put on video that, that your mom said? <laughs> well, mostly what my mom said lately. I don't think we can put on air. But We're family I, friendly, man. You know. I, I, my, my grandpa always used to say the biggest problem with common sense is it ain't that common. That's very true. <laughs> and my mom always said that I did graduate from high school. I was there all five years. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Not, co not college, the five-year play. You were on the five-year high school play. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, Tom, uh, appreciate you coming in, man. Um, anybody that gets an opportunity to take lessons from Tom, it, it, you will have fun. I guarantee it. Or shoot with Tom. He's a great guy to shoot with. Um, it's more about fun, though. I don't. Our customers come down. They relax and have a good time. Right. And uh, I, I kind of put them at ease. But I promise when you leave, you're going to learn something. Awesome. Awesome. And the website one more time, please. TMShooting.com. TMShooting.com. Check it out. Tom Mack. Hey, Johnny Bowden with Clay Shooting USA Magazine, where we go beyond the scores. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, man.